Hello, this is Roger Bisbee here from Skill Builder, and sadly, I've got a bit of bad news for you. More transits have been broken into. This little video you're about to watch is from my friend Jeff down at Sussex Installation. We're not getting paid for this, it's not us advertising his services, but we have used them. We do like what he does, he's done all our vans, and this is about transits and the increasing and continuous problem of brakings on transits. They found a new way in and you need to know about it. If you're a transit owner, then you need to know about it, especially if you know any transit owners, then share this video with them because you might be doing them a big favor, saving them having all their tools stolen. For custom and for transit owners, I'm sorry to say it, but it's you again being targeted by fees. Another problem for you, which is a nightmare. You may have seen it already. It's been a, something we saw through the, um, towards the end of last year, like September, we saw the odd couple of break-ins where people put a hole through the side load door and breaking into your vans. And in the last sort of two or three months, we've just seen an epidemic of it. Online pictures just going up. It seems like daily or weekly, the new attacks, people up and down the country, in Ireland, all over the place, getting their vans broken into by someone poking a hole through the bodywork in the door here and unlocking your van and getting in your van. So what we've done at Sussex Installations, we've developed a shield to help you to combat this. Obviously having a hole in your door doesn't allow a thief to get into a van. I don't want to go into too much detail specifically what they're doing when they make the hole in the van, but they are attacking the latch of your van. There is a security shield from Ford, which is a, a metal one, which does protect the latch if it was coming from a different direction, the attack, but it doesn't protect it, unfortunately, if they're going in from the side of this door. Anyway, what we've done is we've developed a shield and what you can do with this, you can fit it yourself, you can get your mechanic to fit it, obviously depending on your skill level. We can fit it if you're in the southeast of England, uh, including London, or you can get your local van security expert to fit it. I would say get one of these shields, get it on your van now, and what that means is if they make the hole through the side load door of your van, it means that we're covering the gap. There's a video installation guide on our website showing you how to fit it if you're going to fit it yourself, and it's a case of get that um, covered off as your number one priority for van security for a Ford Custom or a Ford Transit right now is to get the shield on this door. If you've already had a hole in your door, it is a bit of a nightmare. If that's the only damage to your van, having a hole in the door. So we do have an external shield set for that. It's on its way and it will be available on our website if it's not already available, depending on when you're watching this video. And that would mean that if you have had a hole through the bodywork here, you'll be able to put our shield set on there and it will basically repair that damage in effect by covering over the damage and also make it more secure through you moving forward. But whether you've got the external shield on there or not, have the internal shield fitted. It's really, really important. We've now um, changed our gold and our platinum packages to incorporate that shield in there as standard on the full custom van because it's just so, so important that you have that shield covered off. Another thing, as well as having that latch mechanism on the van, of course, don't forget to actually do the double lock on your van. So lock, double lock. What that means is the internal cables are all redundant within that door. So if someone has made a hole through that door, they can't just pull on a cable or anything like that because, or they can pull on a cable, but it's not gonna unlock your door because you've double locked it. So another important job, have the shield, make sure you double lock your van each time, unless there's someone actually inside your van, like you've left a child or worker in there when you're at the petrol station, it's not safe to double lock your van if you've got someone inside of it. But other than that, double lock it every time and it makes it more secure. You're, at, you're activating the factory deadlocking. I guess the other thing is, why are they breaking in through that now? Why would they be doing that? And I guess the reason for that is, well, I mean, Yes, you have been plagued with attack after attack. I mean, the Ford Transit and the, in general is like the UK's um, most popular van up and down the country. There's so many of them around. And once an attack method is like found out, it just spreads like wildfire. It's a nightmare. So many owners become victim to it. It was this driver's door barrel and there was a couple of problems with that. Basically, them turning it with the grips or putting a screwdriver in and turning it and this driver's door barrel actually unlocking the load area of the, of the van. So what Ford have done is they've done a software update and by that software update, meaning that this driver's door no longer unlocks the back of the area, now thieves have become more 
um, cunning and they've come up with this other attack to get directly into the back of the van that's basically what it is this stuff is still good to have still have the full software update done still change your driver's door barrel but the number one thing is to get the shield in that side load door and then obviously as I always recommend it's a free strategy approach really to van security you want to secure your manufacturer's weak point like the driver's door barrel and now on this particular model the side load door shield in add an additional layer of security like deadlock so if someone does get the van open in any way there's another layer of security so something like the hook deadlocks that we have which secure the top of the door uh, on on most of the vans we have a top of the door option particularly on this custom we do and it just means that it's not they're not straight into the van if they get past the manufacturer's security and also if the hook lock is up the top of the door it's giving you a securing point up the top of the door as well as the manufacturer's securing point being low down on the door a load area sensor like alarm sensor so you want an alarm system on your van but it should detect if someone gets into the load area for your van even if they've pulled your door down if they peeled the door down from the top you want them to have you want a detector that's going to go off if they get inside your van so that's really really important and then often we combine that with like a high position switch on the top of the side load door so if they start pulling on the top of the door the alarm is going to go off quite early and what we can do is upgrade the manufacturer's standard factory fit alarm to have those sensors the PIR and the high position switch if you've got the factory alarm fitted or if not we can fit an aftermarket alarm system as well so get your shields ordered up get them on the website get them fitted either yourself or um, get a mechanic get someone to fit it but number one security and please share this with any other owners of Ford Transit from the year 2014 or newer or any Ford custom owners so thanks for watching the video and uh, get, get in touch via the website www.sussexinstallations.co.uk Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and that will keep you up to date with any of the uh, new alerts, new products that we've got and new problems that we're seeing. So you'll be first to hear about it if you're on our YouTube channel subscribe list. Again, thanks for watching the video.